Snake man! Come in, Snake man! Snake man! Yes, I'm afraid Snake man is well and truly gone. Raw Mithril here again, and I miss him already. Yes, we're moving on to Needleman, probably one of my least favorite stages in the series. Really, it isn't the stage that's so bad, it's the boss that I fear. Oh well, let's go. First thing to worry about are these Needle Harrys. Take them out quickly, they're not so bad. If you give them a chance, though, they will roll into an invincible ball and dash after you. And here we have a cannon. Uh, yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. Seriously, that's what they're called. Cannon. That's it. I guess the developers weren't feeling too terribly creative that day. Lots of Yanbos and Mets. Now, according to the database, Needleman was made to work in an energy mine. Whether or not that's what this place is, I don't know. To tell you the truth, to me it looks more like some kind of a... Uh, construction high-rise or something of the like. Here we have a new trap type, Needle Press. For those of you not worried about taking damage, no worries, the needle press is not a death spike. In fact, in a strange twist of irony, <laughs> the Needleman stage has no death spikes. Figure that out. Oh, there's that ball form I was talking about. What is it about uh, hedgehogs and spin dashing, anyway? A couple of Hammer Joes here. There are two of them, so if you're so inclined, I guess you could call them Hammer Brothers. Of course, then they would be turtles. They are green already, though, so maybe. Here we have a bouncer, for good measure. So few shots to destroy. Six, I think. Big eye you are not, and for that I'm thankful. Okay, time for Needleman. Much like Quick Man, this guy is frighteningly random. If there's a pattern for him, I don't know it. Yeah! Don't do that! Keep your distance, pal. Unlike Quick Man, this guy is durable. Each hit only takes one bar of life from him, and that's bad. This this fight goes on a while. He loves to try and trap you in corners and fire his needle cannon at you. In tight quarters, it's next to impossible to dodge. So the best you can do is try and keep your distance so you can at least see the needles coming. Just get in shots when you can. Okay. Doing alright so far. Yeah. Come on, quit spazzing and die. Huh, <sighs> he's gone. <laughs> I actually did it. No damage. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, this falls under the category of stages I never want to do again. Okay, with that we get the Needle Cannon. Most known for being rapid fire, we also get the Rush Jet. One of the most useful tools ever, at least in Mega Man 3. <laughs> There were so many tricks with it. You could jump to make it so that it didn't take fuel. It went any direction you wanted to go. It was nice. Okay, at long last, Needleman is down. Six down, two to go. Yeah. <laughs> Much like Quick Man, you can tell the relief in my voice to be done with this one. Right. Outtake time. Enjoy. Well, well, I want to Needle Harrys aren't too bad if you take them out quickly. Oh, well. The trick with Needle Harrys is just being able to dodge them, or not. These Mets can be a little bit tricky to deal with around here. Hey, Yanbo, how you doing? This one especially... Oh, bad move. No worries. Needle Press is not a death spike. In fact, I don't think this stage has any death spikes to speak of. Uh, well, okay, maybe it does. Alright, going up... Oh, hey, Needle Harry, can we take you out? Uh, no, we can't. Oh, that was bad. Couple of Hammer Joes here. They do love to put these in close quarters. Okay, one down. I get hit by the easier one. 
This is a hectic fight with a lot of failing to dodge. Good. And unfortunately, it's another of those fights that drags on. Whoa! Extreme close-up. He falls under the category of Robot Masters, for which, if there is a pattern... Ow! Oh, dang it! Ow! You bugger! All you can really do is try and keep your distance and not get trapped. Oh, and it's easy to do it. If there is a pattern, I don't know it. Ah, uh, poke. Oh, poke. He's one of those that falls under the category of Robot Masters for which... Poke. To deal with it... Ah! Oh. Bad, bad. Uh. No. Okay, ne Oh! Ah. Yeah. Beat you this time? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Oh. Or not. Oh. A good one. Ouch. To deal with it. Ah, oh. bad, bad. Uh. Nope. Okay, no. Oh. Beat you this time, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Oh. Or not. Oh. Oh, good one. Ouch. To deal with it. Ow. Nope. Okay. Oh. Ah. <sighs> brutal. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, like I said, this falls under the category of stages I never want to do again. This was enough. Thank you. Only one other stage that I've done so far has hit me quite this way. Quick, man. Therefore, a rating of 10 shouldn't come as a total surprise, and once more, it's the Robot Master that pushes it up that far. The stage itself wasn't so bad. It didn't have as much that could really cause an instant death, but it did have a lot of enemies that caused some really close calls, with, like, shots from the Needle Harrys and the Mets, Yanbos flying down suddenly, things of that nature. But no, it's Needleman that really pushes us up to 10. I mean, you saw Matt, how many times he ended my runs by himself. That was ridiculous. Killing him with just the buster only is nothing. Doing it without taking any damage? Ugh, nightmare. I never want to have to go through that again. So, I'm glad to have this up as proof that I've done it. So, yeah, 10, definitely. That being said, uh, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, fare thee well.